Align your chakras. Make sure you align your chakras. Stones and crystals. You know, so I'm back out here with another one. Get it. <laughs> so today's video is going to be deep again. Ooh. Viewers discretion advised. <laughs> so yeah. So I'll be talking about past lives. In particular, one of my past lives that I feel like was my recent life. But who knows? I have to connect with my house stuff to get more information about my past lives. But here's one of my past lives. So, so my past life. So, my name was, I was a guy. You know, in your past life, you could be a guy, a girl, a dad, a cat, dog. You know, so you wonder why, like, how you can connect with people so easily is because, guess what? They may have been your cousin in your past life. You know, you question everything. So, my past life. So, my name was Alemic in my past life. And I, I was growing up, you know, knowing all this stuff that I know now. And I was giving out information about this stuff. So I had this like big well-known church that I had people come in, not like regular church, but just people come in to like, I was a motivational speaker. So I did it at my church and I had people come in to listen to me. So basically I was telling them about all this information. I went off donations, not I don't really care about money and stuff so I went through donations and these people gave me so many dip donation donations that I was started building like the church and like building around the church and everything helping others and taking care of people so I was well it was a well-known church I was talking about like the matrix and everything and then all of a sudden you know in my past life like i um i was married and i had kids but you know i had i i had to like meditate to know what their names were and everything i i was just trying to get as much information as possible in that short amount of time that was super relaxed because when you were super relaxed then that's your higher self taking over so i i didn't meet my wife until like after like i didn't meet her when i was young like young young but like i think like probably like in my 20s kind of somewhere around there that's why it's like for me like in this life it's so hard to like try to find like the white female in per se because like now when i was asleep i i would just like go out to like anyone but now i now I look at energy, vibrations, frequency, connection, and vibes. So, it's it's hard. No, it's not hard, but these like people are like from the third dimension, so it's kind of like hard to try to connect with these people. But that's why I'm like, yeah. So, fast forward, the church was doing good. You know, I was helping people and everything. My name was Alemic. I didn't know my last name, but I, if I wanted to know, I'll meditate and everything. But Alemic, and then the people who, of the Matrix legit like saw I was building and telling what's really going on. So the people of the Matrix, these dark energies, these demons, whatever you want to call them, started burning down my churches or ch church or the main church or like the churches so once they did that and i realized that it was them i, w I was depressed i was i had anxiety i had i was so woke but then once that hit i went all the way back to being the matrix i was like i just didn't care anymore like the the people of the matrix made me like go back to being sleep on this third dimension 
that's why in this life it's so like kind of challenging for me to stay woke because obviously like I know this information but it's like so many distractions that's why I always say like take breaks from everything because you gotta just focus on you because like the matrix will try to distract you and try to bring you back down to the third dimension like even people the closest to you won't understand you and they will try to bring you back down to this third dimension that's why they always be like oh you always drink fluoride oh you always drink tap water oh you always ate junk food oh you don't you don't need to believe that type of stuff oh oh why why you don't believe that stuff like you don't believe in god and one like they'll make up all these excuses to try to make you come back to the third dimension but you have to stay woke stay positive stay what you know what you know because at the end of the day your soul your spirit transcends to your higher frequency vibration so you want to be with god in in heaven right so you have to keep your energy and frequency vibrations high and you don't want to come back to this third dimension because once you come back to this third dimension or if you stay in the third dimension and stay sleep then you will not be I don't know, you know just my opinion don't take it personal but you will have to reincarnate and do this all life all over again until you fix your commas when I say commas I'm talking about your um, being like knowing the matrix and sharing the knowledge from God and the commas from your previous life like say if you told someone they're ugly or told someone like offended some people or like hurt some people or um, it gets deep like I'll be talking about that in my reincarnation video that I'll be making but yeah it's very deep it's very deep like they'd be playing like you don't you never know what this like the meat and stuff they, they it might be human meat I'm just saying you never know you never know that's why I always say go with non-gmo at go with how you feel because you know after you ate like junk food you have to go right to the bathroom right after so like why you why you keep eating like that type of stuff if it if your body doesn't want it you know but yeah so after they burned down my my church i went back to being full of matrix i was i was a vegan i came back to being i didn't even come back to be a vegetarian i just started eating meat i just started doing everything i was like depressed and everything my yeah it was bad it was bad we all have past lives we have we all have multiple past lives actually so you have to connect with nature to know this information like when i realized like my past life that i i uh, went back to the matrix oh man no. that was tough i was tough to heal because like um i want to be like i'm experiencing it now like like trying to i'm not going back to the third dimension but like i feel like the devil is just trying to make these distractions and these people words you know words are powerful but you know these these people are trying to like the devil is trying to like you know how i said god speaks through other people the devil can speak through other people also so i feel like he's just trying to make me come back to the third dimension but you know you have to be stronger than that you have to take breaks from the what the devil made like social media television you have to take breaks from all of that and connect with god which is with this nature he created all this all the nature you know 
created us, created Dot. We came from Dot, so we're gonna come back to Dot after we die. So, yeah, once you connect with God, you're just great. You're just amazing. I'm talking about actually connect with God, not not through the churches, you know. But that's why in, in this life, I kind of want to be like a motivational speaker. So, hey, that's from my past life. But yeah, we all have past lives. So you have to connect with, connect with nature to actually know about your past lives. Because if you stay, if you stay sleep in this matrix, I'm gonna be in reincarnation. And I'm gonna talk about that in my next video. So I'm about to make it now. So it's your boy, Smooth Double B, and I'm out. Peace.